Studio. So we want to make sure that we, um, can you hear me? I can now that you turned your microphone on. I know, I, did, I always forget it's off. Okay, well, you know what, here we go again. We're just coming off uh, Excellence BBW's Winter Weekend at the Fat Friendly Tuscany Hotel and Casino. Um, we had a great time. We have lots of uh, stories and blackmail stories maybe I don't know <laughs> but it was a great event you guys um, we're gonna have the plush pass uh, uh, porn girls in in a little bit so we're gonna you know how it gets when they're up in here but mama gonna try to keep them under control tonight you know what we need to keep under control is you I know cheeks well maybe under control but I could keep them from all talking at the same time now out of control that, that the, like this weekend that's a whole nother freaking thing we started our weekend at least Toxie and I did on Wednesday night that's midweek that's not that's it was not. A Wednesday night. but wait a minute let's okay. talk about Wednesday during the day first I have to get this one out there and I hope my my husband Mr. Toxie is listening here but um if you guys could see I, you know what I we've been so busy that um I haven't even been on Facebook to see what pictures were posted of us but we all looked fabulous last night we had all had black dresses in our own styles with our pink um pink sparkly sashes and um I all on Wednesday because when we did um, sewing night at my house, Toxie was sick. So I went to, to her house on Wednesday so I could get a good part of her dress done while she was there to strip and get all ready. It was really hot. But anyway, so it was just so right, Sierra. Like Toxie was in her office doing her work, and I work from home also, so I took mine with me. And I'm at her kitchen table sewing, you know, Mr. Toxie's at work, the children are at school, and I'm right there by the kitchen, and I was thinking, this is like, this is, this is sister wife. This is like so right, okay? Like, I felt like I should go in the kitchen and make a meatloaf. I would have liked to go in the kitchen <laughs> and make a meatloaf, but I have a feeling that the only ingredient I own for meatloaf is the meat. <laughs> oh, so. oh, no, but I watched Chopped. I could make something happen with no that meat. No onions and peppers? Wait a minute. No. Wasn't it your mom that tried to put bananas in a meatloaf once to hold it together? Yeah, because uh, when my son was little, he was allergic to eggs. <laughs> so we used to experiment with different binders. Right. And uh, I was actually a fan of the non-flavored binders, you know, like gelatin. You can right. Eat, yeah, makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, but my mom liked to uh, experiment, and she made a meatloaf with a banana. So it was like a banana meatloaf, banana bread meatloaf. And it tasted like bananas, I bet, huh? It tasted very much like bananas. <laughs> Do you know what? Sometimes... Like bananas and meat. <laughs> it's exactly what it tasted like. <laughs> oh, that like. does not sound so good <laughs> to me. Kind of like my eggs and hash browns all mixed together. <laughs> oh. Oh, but that, that was, was wait, hold on, let me just tell you this really quick, <laughs> then we'll get back to that story. Last night we go for breakfast at three AM. At three AM after, you know, a little bit of drinking and having been on the show and I'm sitting next to Sierra. <laughs> we all, all got sudden, wait, we all got four ninety nine steak and egg special. Yeah, right. every single person there got the same thing. And I turn over and she is mixing it like it is a pot of chili <laughs> like, mixing plate. the plate smushing everything together i wanted to vomit like i could feel it coming up but I you know what toxie for a fat chick you know and i know a lot of fat chicks you have the most food issues of anybody I i've ever met you issues. do for being a fat chick i, I don't do. get it i do however that still doesn't change the fact that she that was disgusting. <laughs> and then you mixed it like it was a big old stew. <laughs> and then you were like, pass me the ketchup. Oh, she and was. I knew as soon as I heard that ketchup squirting happening, like I was going to lose it. And like I was going to fling your plate across the restaurant. You I Good thing she, because I did the same thing. My hash browns and my scrambled eggs and my ketchup were together. And then I take a bite of all that and then a bite of my toast with jelly on it. You, I, I think you even missed your toast. I, mean, I did actually use the toast as a scoop and put some on the toast and I eat mean, it, it that was, way. It was literally like she used the fork to smush it all together. I did. She did. You missed breakfast. Oh, and I was at Maryland's for breakfast, and I had corned beef hash as well. So I had corned beef hash, my eggs over medium, and my uh, hash browns, and I mixed it all together, put on ketchup, and... It's I really good that I way. It's really good that way. And you're lucky I wasn't in a mustard mood. Sometimes I put mustard on that. I can't handle it. Well, we know <laughs> next time we go to breakfast at 3 a.m., you don't sit don't by Sierra. Sit by me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sierra and uh, Toxie have to be at two different moving, ends of the table. Forward, I will. I will get my own booth. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I will sit there and look sad, keeping my food neatly separated. That is so funny. <laughs> that is one great. Flavor at a time. Well, I just so I put my eggs on my toast, so I do that. The the best part though was she had her two friends with her right? at breakfast. And uh, they were they were also kind of defending me. They're like, "Well, it all mixes up in your stomach anyway." Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, it all comes out the same in the oh, end." And I thought the other time. two were gonna lose it. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh, well, it's all poop in the end. Now, see, um, now my one friend, the one that was sitting across from me, like she gets because we're together a lot, so she gets my food issues like firsthand. <laughs> so she she probably knew. I was, that uh, was not going to work, I, I, huh? It wasn't working, and I was trying to call. And you, and Mr. Toxie will eat anything and everything. Anything and everything, and he will put anything and everything on anything <laughs> and everything that he's eating. <laughs> he and was then, down at my end of the table, yeah. yeah. He's down at your end. His father is even worse. He puts, um, what is it, some type of dressing. like that. What's that dressing on a Big Mac? Like oh, like Thousand Mac. Island, yeah. He'll put it on anything. I kind of like, I, I would put I would put Thousand Island on a lot. I put it on a lot of things too. Oh God, did I just get a <laughs> death lock? <laughs> fucking salad. No, I love it on my hamburgers. I, I like it, it on my hamburgers. I like it on my fish. Oh, am I getting I a look? Anything you can put mayonnaise on, you can use Thousand Island. There with. you go. I was, hate mayonnaise. Was Mr. Toxie? Was Mr. Toxie and his dad were they both in the military? No, they weren't. They weren't. Oh, no. oh, because the military tries to save the food, right? Because it's well, so nasty. No, no, no. That's what I. That's where I picked up most of that mixing the food together was in the military because you only have a certain amount of time to eat your food, mm. so you don't have time to eat it separately. So what a lot of guys do, and what I learned is you mix it all up and you eat it with a spoon. Or you put it More on like two pieces. Or like you shovel it in with a spoon, you right? You shovel it in with a spoon. Or you put it on, or you put everything on two pieces of bread and you eat it like a sandwich. You have not lived until you have had a military chicken parm on two pieces of uh, dinner roll that have been smushed down into like flat pieces. You never make it in the military. A lettuce no. with <laughs> ranch dressing on it. It's all. But but, it's but all this good. girl, you know, she's not afraid to eat a Big Mac though, huh? No. Nope. McDonald's. I mean, I'll eat a Big Mac's not my favorite thing. Right, right. But I mean, if I was drunk enough, I'd eat one. Well, you're drunk enough. <laughs> so, um, we're drunk enough. So anyway, time. I just want to let you know that I thought it felt very natural for you and I to be um, sister wife in that day. That was great. I mean, I wish I knew that you were considering making meatloaf. I would have. Well, next time you and I, anything well, and everything else. Well, no, here's the thing. So. You and I have talked about we're going to work on some show stuff during the day while mm-hmm. our compadres are at their other jobs. And so the day that um, I come over to work on things, I'll just bring everything to make go. meatloaf. And I'll we'll take see. some photos so you guys can see how the feel the is. The sister family, the family, the sister, sister wife sister is. Yeah, exactly. This would be um, a good experiment. That would be awesome. All right. I'm all for All that. right. So, and you know what? And who benefits the show? Right. Because we're purposes. gonna be it, mm-hmm. not the sister and the, ch- and the children. And well, the children. and 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 because we're gonna do show work together mm-hmm. and work on our you know, advertising programs and stuff. So Taxi and I are going to be on it. So anyway. Oh, um, Kong. oh, wait, I have to tell you, though. So Sweet Cheeks, my dog's name is Tank. <laughs> and she kept going, Taint? Well, she gets, she goes <laughs> to the backyard and she's like, Whoop, Tank, come in here. Tank, come in here. And I'm going, your dog's name is Taint? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you name your rat Tank? It's, um... That was Mr. Toxie. Okay. And so he wanted a very manly name for this Tank Chihuahua. Was a manly name. <laughs> and Tank was the name he gave. And him. I come up with Tank. So when I filled out the paperwork, you know, when we adopted him, and he's like, You make sure it says Tank. And I said, Okay, and I'm like, Tankford? Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> and I made it like nice, long and pretty. I mean all my animals have full names. My one cat is uh, Zoe Penelope. The other one is T J Hooker. Um, T.J. Hooker. Yes, my dog. My my dog's name is Swagger. You asshole. <laughs> Swagger, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> um, I have to tell you though. Did you see this one last night melt over the nerd boy across the room? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, that. I looked at my friend here, and we've been going to these events a long time <laughs> together, her and I, and I went. I have never seen you juice up for, for you know, something across the room like this one. I almost expected you to text Daddy and said, please, can I get a pass, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was. I, I Well, I rarely, I see, like, I see the traditionally good-looking dudes, and everybody's like, oh, he's so hot. And it's like, yeah, 
But so is he and he and he and he. They all kind of start to look to get look the same. Right, after right. A while. At some point, they. You're they right. Look you're right. Yeah. But when you see someone who walks in and he's well dressed and he looks very intelligent, nerdy, he was nerdy. very oh, yeah. tall. Yeah. Very, very, thin, tall, very thin. Very thin. Very nerdy. Glasses. Nerdy. Nerdy. And all she kept saying is, "Look at how big his cock is in his pants." <laughs> That's true. Uh, look at, I think our girl's a little blushing a little over blushing. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I have never seen her go, like, stop in her tracks. Like, if, she's if doing I, the show, and she went, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> look at I'd that. Been, I'm just going to let you girls know, if I'd have been single, I'd have hit that four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> he was a very oh. nice man. And then when you went downstairs... Um, to take the equipment to the car when the guy's with you. I was sitting at the table, and he just came up. He says, I haven't met you, and I, his, I think his name was Scott. I don't know. But I'm like, where's Sierra? Where's Sierra? It would have been, oh, baby, oh, baby. <laughs> I'm just saying. I do you have cute, a room? <laughs> you know, because when we do those remotes, she's all about business. You know, which we appreciate because we can't do what you do out there with the equipment. So hats off to you. We love you for that. Um, we just show up and look good and talk talk <laughs> stupid shit. But, um, but I, I mean, literally, she's working and doing it. She went, wow, do you see that? I mean, I've <laughs> never seen it. it. I was like, whoa. So now you guys know my type. You know what? Very obvious, your type. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what your son's going to grow up to look like. Probably. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably be a little bit thicker, though. Yeah, exactly. Like but, I mean, 16. I think I, I don't know if you have glasses, but he's going to be very, like, I can see when he Clean goes cut. to a party, yeah. have his button-down collar shirt and his slacks and, yeah. And shoes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So that was just so funny. So I got myself fucking loaded Wednesday night. Wednesday night? Wednesday oh, night yeah. was the pre pre party plush had at the gold digger and there was a lot of people there a lot there were i have to i was i was telling you later you know i'm i'm pretty much during the week you know i have a i have a your mommy you're in mommy mode I'm a mom. me too i'm a, I'm a yeah. total you know doing what i do my life i'm a very responsible person my life is dare i say a little boring you know very uh, no, no more. maybe not boring boring but you know it's just very it's there i do what i do i you know, so never in a million years, if you had said to me on a Wednesday night, you would be hanging out with porn stars <laughs> <laughs> with one hump in your leg. <laughs> I would have said you're fucking crazy. I would have said no. no. What? We had a Where great time. Con- we had a great it time Wednesday. It was fabulous. Uh-huh. And I, I was, um, I mean, I was just walking around and. You know, everybody, I had people coming up and talking to me. Every, I was telling her, every guy I stood by, you know, I would be there talking with a friend, and somebody would come up and go, oh, is this Mr. Toxie? <laughs> Do you know what? That no. just shows how many people, I mean, have really listened to our show. I am really fully believing that we are people's guilty pleasure right. because they, we may not see them in chat, and we may, but there's a lot more people listening than we well, know. We were um, Sweet Cheeks and I were leaving last night. We were going to my we room, leaving, yeah. Right, and so we're walking out, and a woman stops us and goes to Sweet Cheeks. I watch you all the time. I love your show. And I was, I was, I had a drink or two, so I was like, "Hey, I'm on the show too." <laughs> <laughs> and she looks at me and she's like, mm-hmm, "Yeah, but she's very, you know." noticeable and <laughs> out there and, and have a big fucking mouth. yeah but then i'm gonna say this nice. but i'm gonna say this like then. i'm going now <laughs> but wait a minute i'm gonna say this then we're walking a few more steps and you see the kelly fan i mean the toxic plant club <laughs> they're yelling taxi in the casino so we both got our little uh you know recognitions last night yeah so don't even go there yeah, it was yeah, your fan was like, club i'm on the show too yeah it was so funny because she pushed mr toxie aside i'm on the show too <laughs> and the lady says, I know. <laughs> like, okay, she didn't honey. care less. She was She's sitting like, at one of the, uh, yeah, playing know. video poker <laughs> yeah. or something. Like, and, yes, um, you are, dear. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's only because I've been on longer. <laughs> oh, we got to say, our girl glitzed. She glitzed last night. Maybe glitzed a little too much on the weekend. What's well, going on, Mama? We just dropped our broadcast because I'm on my power cord. Oh, here. No, don't do that. Put it in. We'll carry on for the audio, but the video just dropped. We'll so get it up we'll in, in one second. Won't be long, guys. We'll get it up for you. Video will be right back up. Yeah, video will be right back up. I decided to use the power cord, and I didn't realize what was going on. So, um, yeah, so you know what? Like, 
Wednesday night, all these people coming up asking her if, who she was with was Mr. Toxie. Did they ask you if the little tea man was Mr. Toxie? No, there was no, a little person. No. He's known in the entertainment community as Little T. And I'm going to actually, I was at one point, I was sucking face with Little T. Right. Okay? No one got pictures? No, no. But she went over and she's like, I'm going to ask him if I, if I could have sex with him. Oh, did I say that? You did. And um, you went over and you came back, so I'm not quite sure what happened.